Trash and graffiti have littered Pirates Cove for years. Well, tomorrow, the San Luis Obispo County Supervisors will decide between three solutions to clean up the mess out there. KSBY News reporter Angel Russell is live at Pirates Cove tonight. So, Angel, what did you find out there? Yeah, Karina, county officials tell me the biggest problem is just people not following the rules. And take a look at this sign right behind me. It says a thousand dollar fine for littering. And this is actually what I found out here today. All this trash along the path. If you can tell, the most common item in here are beer cans. Well, the county says this needs to stop. It's graffiti, it's trash, it's criminal activity. Those are the things that are keeping away a lot of the people who would go there and enjoy it. Pirates Cove provides a beautiful view of the coastline, but that site quickly turns into a blight for some visitors. Even just right here, all throughout here, there's just glass like everywhere. Bakersfield visitors Joey Long and Carly Wesner say the graffiti in the cave is an eyesore. It's just straight up graffiti, not art, yeah. artsy in any way. Another visitor, Raymond Maslek, says peeking over the cliff's edge wasn't a pretty sight. There's cans and there's uh, chip bags and things like that. I mean, it's pretty, not many people peek over. It's a pretty precipitous uh, drop. It will be hard to pick up. They'll have to, somebody will have to rope up if they want to get that out of there. Slow County Parks and Recreation says they've come up with three solutions for the County Board of Supervisors to choose from. The options range from making minimal improvements, like adding trash cans and enacting parking restrictions, to hiring additional law enforcement officers to patrol the area. And finally, the most drastic possibility, selling the land, but still keeping the trail and beach access open. Even though there's graffiti and trash there, it's still just physically a gorgeous place, and that's why people care so much. So if people come out and tell us why they care so much and, and help us try and figure out what's the best way we can care for that in the future, that's what we want to hear. The County Board of Supervisors choose the minimal improvement options that would still need to be approved by the Coastal Commission. Live and local, I'm Angel Russell for KSBY News. All right, Angel, thank you. And if you'd like to weigh in, that meeting is tomorrow. It starts at 9 a.m.